Okay, I want to thank everybody for coming this evening. I know it's, uh, I, I think we did pretty good for getting this many people on this many organizations in one spot. So I thank everybody for coming and uh, everybody in attendance uh, from the citizens. Uh, first of all, my name is Brian Lewis. I'm the president of the county commissioners. If we could all uh, introduce ourselves to probably people we're not familiar with. Um, you guys stay down here, please. Jeff, I'm Q on town board. Steve Mudsberg, Polk County Commissioner. Rick Ransted, Polk County Commissioner. Bill Olinger, County Council. Jim Jolly, County Council. Jerry Hurston, County Council. Randy Sutton, County Council. Ron Hitler, County Council. Lori Hurst, County Council. Judy Whitman, County Council. Jim Hurston, County Council. Rebecca Hartzler, Akron County Treasurer. Jim Hartzler, County Council. Brian Goodman, Rochester City Council. Rick Bigleo, Rochester Board of Works. Sean Taylor, Rochester Court Treasurer. Ted Denton, Mayor of Rochester. Jason Thompson, City Council. Martin Smith, City Council. Jason Heidi, City Council. John Jarrett, City Council. Brian Fitzwater, City Council. Deb Strasser, Town Fold. Hi, Hartman, Cliff Treasurer, Town Fold. Thank you. Okay. I was just going to start off. I'm going to uh, just some bold points of a brief history here of uh, kind of where, where we're at and why, we, why we're here today. Uh, so let me uh, just start off by, and this is some information probably a lot of people know. Uh, Mark Jail was opened in 1985 with 36 inmates. We had to model that a little later in the years. Uh, we modeled in old 79. Uh, we've had infrastructure issues for years. I mean, our jail is used 24 7, 365 days a year, and uh, it's people who don't want to be there and they're very hard on it. Um, some of the comments we've received from the public uh, to date on that is you know, uh, they just want us to do it right this time. Overcrowding, DLZ did a jail study uh, about a year ago for us, it was late last fall, um, and they said by 2040, with, with the increases from the statistics they have been, we might have 128 inmates in our uh, book. We had 115, I believe, in our last commissioner's meeting, so we are about there to date. Um, last fall, we received a no compliance letter from the state. We are not in compliance with a, a list of things. Uh, we currently have a lawsuit against us and have two tort claims, and it's all related to jail issues. Uh, and we don't have the space to properly segregate uh, all the inmates depending on how they feel this day. Uh, we have no space for classrooms or, or meeting area if we want to do program or something for the inmates. Uh, our recidivity rate is about 80% right at the moment. Um, so if we can't afford to address these issues, uh, currently that we are no longer the longer we hold off, the more risk we are exposed to, um, and our construction costs run up about 6% a year currently. This spring early, the sheriff and myself um, started going down to the Ways and Means Committee of the state. Uh, we were down there three or four times to testify on the needs that Fulton County has. Uh, when they were done with that, House Bill 1263 gave Fulton County the ability to raise the special option income tax to 0.25%. And then they gave all counties in the state the option to implement a 0.2% special tax for correctional or jail use only. That gives us 0.45% of the 0.65% we need uh, to fund this project. Uh, funding a jail is something that none of us want to do. Uh, but we're faced with this situation at this time and left with little options. Um, we negotiated with our architect that we hired about three weeks ago and has saved around $100,000 on this project. Um, and we are here to ask the help of the towns and the city um, in saving the taxpayer a little more money by helping fund this jail. Since public safety low at tax is shared by the towns, the city, and the county, we need to raise that by 0.3% of the towns and the city contribute only the extra amount of money that was raised, the amount that we currently get, where we can save the taxpayer 0.1%. Um, we're looking at a 20-year bond, and at the end of that bond, all the extra money on the special, uh, the public 
loans would go back to uh, the taxing agencies, entities. Um, and then like we have a surplus, uh, we, if we fund this and move ahead, you know, if we have a surplus in a good year, um, I would think this is my opinion that we would put the money in escrow, use that on a lean year to pay off, and then if uh, we can, pay the bond off early if we get closer to the year. As of today, we have not found or decided on a location. You know, we need water and sewer available. Um, in our current jail, in my opinion, um, we would probably want to tear it down. If we did any re renovations to that facility, DLZ, they're an architectural firm, uh, gave us the indication that it would cost us between 11 and $12 million to bring that facility up to current codes, and that is, before, and that is not even addressing any space issues that we need. Um, so that's kind of, in a nutshell, from both points where we're at. Um, so I will open it up. Um, we will have a public comment here later on. I, I need to keep this to an hour. I think we have three, three or four members here that need to go to the area plan meeting. So, uh, so I'll open up the floor. Mayor, if you've got some questions you'd like to? Well, I would refer to uh, President Goodman. Uh, he said a couple of words. What you mentioned is some of our questions we sent over to you. Okay. Did you uh, distribute the questions? I can give you the questions that those, the council those, question you see with us. Those, those were a compilation of questions from our council and trained up individuals who were uh, uh, taxpayers. Um, so I, I guess if, if you would mind, we can go through them. So that's, um, so that's the $24 million was all we could raise on that money. I mean, that's what that's the taxes he explained. That's the money you would raise. So we have to stay that or below that. Okay, but I did the Adams County facility. Is it $24 million facility? Was that today? Was that yeah, it was anticipated. Adams County, uh, Ella Modest just did that jail for another. I think the county 
They increased the size of the bit. Those construction costs came in two weeks ago at $19.5 million. So a soft cost there, you know, 21, 22 million in that area. So if we keep the facility as is or you know, a little smaller, you know, hopefully we can come in at the, you know, $18 million. Um, I think that's what the jail was built for, was $18 million. That opened in February 17th. So. It's been open just a little over a year, and that's what their construction cost was at that point. So that's kind of what we based our number on. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a hard cost? The $19 million is a hard cost. Yes, the, 18, the $19.5 million is a hard cost. Yeah. Then you have soft cost, which is $3, 4000000 million-ish on top of it. They tell us about 20% soft cost. Yeah. 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 Mary Berry, the auditor uh, from Adams County, and she gave, gave me some good information. That facility is 56,600 square feet. They moved into it February of 2017. The building costs were $16,041,428, 16 million. I'm sorry, 16 million. Uh, 200 beds. Started the, the project, actually, they, they paid for it. Uh, ten years ago, they saw a new company. They started a jail funds, which, which we don't have. We don't have a human fund established. And that's something she suggested, that even today, we start. And that's when you're pulling some money from the property tax and moving in escrow in anticipation something down the road, expanding, building something down the road. In 10 years, they acquired $4 million. It let them go to the bond market without the excessive uh, tax banking to do that. Uh, then they drew tax monies from, uh, a quarter of a percent from the lower fund. They introduced the lower tax at a quarter of a percent. And, uh, also uh, drew a quarter of a percent from the property tax replacement credit uh, process fund, which allowed them then to, of course that's property tax, which allowed them to build, build a jail. Um, they also used Elevatus, uh, and uh, they had uh, our county and county county firm plus uh, Barnes and Thornburg were their legal folks. Uh, and she said, you know, she would be happy to go over the step by step process with anybody. But she said it was a grueling process. Uh, they didn't do a referendum. They said it would be a it was on the referendum route. And uh, now, but a part of this process, uh, we mentioned in her findings, they did put a committee together. That uh, twice a year and also helps make the decisions on what to do with what's left. Right now in this process they also knew what they were going to do with the uh, old chair and they're in a demolition mode right now. So that's just a little information from, from those folks. Uh, and she said the facility is working out very, very well. It's, it's like I said, 200 beds. There are about 14,000 more in, in their population than we are in Colton. Their situation is such, they've been able to uh, rent out some of that bed space, quite a bit of it, to federal uh, prisoners, and they get a little more money from the federal prisoners. And that also helps with their situation. Any monies they're getting in excess, they're floating right back into the jail cumulative fund. Decrease, unless we have a decrease in population, what will be done with any surplus in revenue created by an increase in population or increase in wages? Um, for example, barring an increase in low income, the payout should increase every year due to salary increases. The bond payment will remain static. Where will the increase in monies go? Disperse back to all stakeholders, held in escrow account for future debt expansion, or to offset a year when low can't make a full bond payment. 
used to pay head on bond, used to fund the sheriff's department. I think you kind of answered that already. Um, the next question, does the 24 million figure include the land and installation of utilities? It'll have to. Okay. It'll have to. I mean, that, that's, what we, that's what we have to spend, so we're... Yes. Yes. Okay, what happens to the lowest commitments after 20 year payoff of new jail? And what do you see as the county's obligation to the towns if bond is refinanced at some point with more money being borrowed for additional projects and bond time is extended past 20 years to refinance and save money creating an unexpected surplus? I, I can't see the future. You know, I don't know what current boards are going to do, but I guess kind of what I said earlier, I mean, my, my opinion would be, would be, you know, it would just go into an escrow account, and um, I, don't, I don't see where we would be refinancing the bond for additional projects. Um, it's, we're, we're focused on this deal to get this thing paid off as quick as we can, so um, I would just you know, put the money in the escrow, and, and if we have a lean year, we can pay out of it, and hopefully we can pay it off before we, we need to move it. Well, then taxes can only be used for a jail. We can't use it for nothing else. Jail or rehabilitation. Yeah. Well, you're public safety law, which you can not support the public safety practices. I, I, oh, the other two things. Yeah, yeah, the, the one. Right, right, right. 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 And, and the only reason that comes up is because in the past, there have been extensions of, of bonds to fund other things, uh, and refinancing and extension of bonds and things like that. Was the bond refinance to take care of the uh, annex remodeling? Uh, wasn't that part of an existing bond? I was yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But, but I guess my so reason is, it is for that is to put it down, yes, I mean, it's to pay this bond off. And, and that's where I would, my vote would be to look at that to that. That certainly, you know, that debt. Only using the jail. Yeah, yeah I, I, and I think uh, that can all be used. This group is in agreement with that. Put that together and write it somewhere down the road so the next group coming along can do that. Well, that's what I would suggest. I totally agree. We're going to work together on this. I mean, we're probably going to have to have mutual resolutions to that effect. And that could be a term of that resolution that there's not going to be any finance and bonds. And for other projects, very exclusive right. to this project. Right. And then like uh, Rick was saying, I mean, the two special income taxes, those can only be used for the same way. So, right. But to address your concern, that could be, that could be included in, in resolution, so. I, I think that would be a concern that somewhere down the road. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. kind of like see it. We look over our shoulder and we're funding the whole sheriff's department operation. I don't think that would be the intent. Yeah, and I, agree. I think everybody, you know, that would be the intent of the agreement. Yeah. Okay, thank you. 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 Question five. <clears throat> Will a financial committee be established with representation from all stakeholders to meet biannually to review the bond situation? No. Well, I would assume that that's required to put that in agreement. I guess, like I said, these are questions that come around. Um, moving on to six. Will there be a commitment from the county to put a moratorium on raising taxes for a set period of time after this venture? I, I don't know how you can do that. We don't know if Alexis doesn't know what the future is. I don't know what I don't know what this question that was, but how what specifically are you? But it's yeah. But how, how, you, how you go to the future? What I mean, you do that, you handcuff yourself and get in a situation you need something. And I, I, I think the state has basically already set that. The limits for any of those income taxes or property taxes are basically controlled by the state. And you've got to live within those numbers. And yeah, we haven't uh, tapped those as far as we could. In the past years, uh, you know, I don't see how you could also tie your hands and say, no, I'm not going to fund the additional, you know, if there's, if there's 
if there's area for that ceiling, I feel like you have to be able to use that if you're going to run a governmental organization. Other than that, you could end up in the home. The state gives us unfunded mandates all the time. Mm -hmm. It tells us how to pay for this. It gives us all the time. It gives us all the time. Has the Ways and Means Committee given an okay to raise the current low of tax? The current low of tax is not at the max at this point. Okay. Um, what are the intended services and county needs that will be satisfied with the building's facility and what offices will be housed there? Well, we have, we have not got to the design phase of tweaking that plan because we don't know where we're headed. So, I mean, it's, it's what, if we've got to cut cost, then there may not be some administrative, I mean, administrative offices in that, you know, I mean, ideally, my opinion, I, I differ from a few of the others, maybe, but you know, I would think all emergency services should be in that building. But if you can't afford it, you can't build the building, then you don't, you know. Money's going to drive it off. Yeah, you, you keep them where they're at. Um, well, like 911, I can't imagine what the expense would be looking at. You saw me. Yeah. It's not a bus. power. We, we get, he was looking into that and running numbers and, and we met with certain people just because that's a number that I, I wanted to know too if, if we do that. And um, I know that she's looking into getting uh, options on the tower of the certain. If you go to a certain height of tower, then the state might lease space and she thinks she can maybe get the tower paid for by lease agreements through various a few vendors. So, uh, that, that's an option. Like I said, right at the moment, we're just we're looking at all options, everything we can possibly think that, that might drive something. So um, we have no decisions that have been made yet. So. I, I just want the money here, but I didn't build it right now. Because I approach it and it's good up. And it's what else is going to be used for? And throw away money to do it. Are you talking about the channel or the administration? The sheriff's office. Sheriff's office, yes. Um, one thing that comes up is if you if you're going to tear the jail down if you move the tower just like you put up a new tower and so basically it would have to either stay there or move to a completely different location <coughs> and then you have all your regulations and, and permits and, and expense for that but the administration is doing right now it's up to date to put a lot of money into that right and to move out of that and move out to new locations or throw that other way. Well, we're not throwing out of the and we're going to do that, but, but say the case, I mean, our, our health, I mean, we're, we're looking right now of uh, trying to rearrange some space in our basement with the health department and area plan, and, and we're, we're running out of space. So, so I, if that building, if we did move everybody out, we could possibly move the health department to that building and free up some space, you know, we're, I mean, it's not like we're going to get rid of the building or, you know, but, but nothing's been decided. Nothing's been decided. I'm saying yeah, yeah, we're just that's just stuff that's rolling around. Nine one one could possibly stay there. I don't see any reason why it has to be there. Right. But the idea would, would, would be for the sheriff's office. Right. Well, well, that's what the sheriff wants. It would be for all of us. Question nine, and you know, you talk a little bit about this. Uh, what is the plan for the old jail? What funds are being used today to support the operation overhead of the jail? What is budgeted? What is the budgeted amount currently for operation of the jail and the sheriff's office? Where will monies come from disposed or renovate of the old jail, and what will it be sold? Yeah, that's right. 
we're about 1.3 million of the total scale in the area. I did want to mention one other thing. When we were talking about soft costs on this project, I've done a little looking on the outside. Uh, a lot of times, if you go through the same systems you've always used, you get the same answers you've always had. And I have found that there is places to get money for these particular types of facilities without bonding. If you don't have bonding, you don't have uh, all the legal fees. You also don't have the, the cost of selling the bonds. You don't have some of these other costs that uh, is associated with a bond issue. So at this point, I'm uh, really elementary into this process, but there is other funding mechanisms. Ought to be looking. Has Umbaugh mentioned that? Are they, or, you know, you're right, when your own tools spend a hammer, the whole world looks like a nail. And you don't need near the legal side, mm -hmm. so the legal side is not going to be telling you that there's other ways to do this. That's no, clear, but we'll talk about the bond council. We're not yeah. talking about the whole You see everybody We're not involved in the bond legal business. <laughs> And in some of them, they actually have discussed that the actual legal fees is actually paid through your rent payment rather than as part of the principal. Okay. Yeah. So when you start talking about your interest rate, that becomes a lot more interesting discussion. Like you're talking creative financing. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, which brings up. In terms of not the fit will be the other day as far as the payment process, uh, everybody wants a contract to start and stuff. The bond process, can somebody explain DOT process of payment? Bill operate transfer. Bill operate transfer. How does that how does that work? There was a long dissertation on that by one of the contractors, one of the architects. And that's the way they normally do their um, do their operation or their builds. And basically, they build it, operate, it, and then transfer it to you, and, and you're paying them all along. It, it, it's kind of a, he explained too. It's a little bit of a fixed. It's, it's like you, you know, you build a house, you give somebody a contract, and it's not to exceed this amount of money. So that they're locking themselves into. This is the cost of the jail regardless, which I don't know enough about it yet, but that kind of bothers me because it's 6% a year that the construction costs are rising. If they lock into a cost, they're either anticipating that ahead by raising the cost or they're, they're not that this company would, but I can see a company start pinching or shaving corners. So I, I don't know enough about that system yet to to give a good answer, but it, it kind of worries me a little bit. Dude, yeah, that's true. But, yeah. I, well, when I first heard it, my thought was, oh my gosh, okay, they're going to lock down, but when you don't come through for a change order, you're going to yeah, yes. out the no. Exactly, yeah. that's what we did. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. There's, a, there's a lot to learn. It sounded good on the surface. <laughs> when you got to dig it into it, it, it probably wasn't as good as it did. It sounded like it was a relatively new. I think there's legislation that drives that. Right. I mean, that, there's legislation that protect, you know, with that they said, we have, I have not yet, I don't know if anybody has contacted somebody that's gone through that yet. Yeah, I have had to gone through that. The old submit a claim and you can do it and pay you process. I, I believe yeah, Miami County morning. is doing that with our QAW on their mm -hmm. highway garage. You give up a lot of control when you go to that system. You, you know, you Something will take you, but there you go. Question 10. Finally, what is the rush? The DOJ report of a year ago cautioned that one factor deciding your need is the court system. They talked of alternate, alternative sentencing as a big factor. Constituents are asking if the overcrowded situation might change with the new prosecutor and judge, thus changing the specifications for the new jail. Could you answer that? <laughs> I can interject an opinion on that. I mean, I think when you're looking at the decision on whether to build a new jail, um, the 
geopopulation is one aspect of that decision making. Another aspect is the infrastructure deterioration of the existing buildings. And a third aspect that's not talked about a lot of times is that because of the state mandating that all level six felons be housed at the county level and also mandating that certain services be provided to those inmates, our current facility doesn't have that type of, uh, it doesn't have the room to offer those type of services, although Sheriff Sailors is trying to implement those type of uh, services. So I mean, there's our, those are three main components in deciding whether the building is or not. Now, going to the jail population specifically, uh, certainly, in my opinion, there is going to be, there could be, through alternative sentencing, work release, home detention, those type of things, even review of like, like the bond, the bail schedule, uh, those can have an effect on the jail population. Is it going to be enough to, to, to directly decrease what we're currently faced with? Um, I don't know. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the numbers uh, in the jail right now, it's, it's not just new crimes. There's a lot of probation violations. We're seeing a lot of people coming right back through the back door into the system. And so that's not going to be adequately addressed with sensing alternatives necessarily. Then you're getting into a bigger problem of what do you do to address some of the underlying issues that even that our communities face with and all communities are faced with. Well, excuse me, do we need a drug court? I, mean, I there's think a lot of people over there that are waiting to go to trial, right? Well, the drug court's not going to. I think the drug court is important because I think the drug court will address, you know, the issues that our county and all counties are facing, and that is substance abuse issues. Uh, and most of our cases, luckily, we don't have a lot of violent crime. Most of our cases are substance abuse issues, and so I think a drug court is going to be effective in dealing with that underlying issue that is creating some of the, you know, the jail population issue. There's not going to be any single program that's going to, you know, have a, a magic wand effect. Um, but certainly, I think the drug court um, that's, that would help, and I think it's something that's needed. But these decisions on alternative sense and things shouldn't be made, you know, to address, hey, how are we going to get that jail population out because the county's got to make a decision as to whether to build a new jail. Those are decisions that need to be made because that's what makes sense for that particular case, that particular offender, and you know it's going to help the community. But I don't think that issue standing alone is what is is what is going to drive the decision as to whether to renovate or to build. So, but there's certain things that are going to that can be done that's going to affect the jail population. I believe that. But we have a huge issue in this county, you know, substance abuse, and you know that problem's not going to go away by what we do at the jail. And we did put a jail committee together. Uh, we had the sheriff, uh, Greg was on there, the county attorney. We had um, Rick was on there. We had Judge uh, Lee on there. Jim was on there. Uh, Billy, Morris. Culture, Billy Morris was on there. I think they had some skepticism starting off with that. By the time we got their recommendation two weeks ago or so, um, their recommendation to us was to build a jail. And I know Judge Lee spent a lot of time thinking about and processing this over a couple months, and, and that was their recommendation from the jail committee is, is uh, to build. So uh, that's, we didn't just, we did put a committee together and stuff. Did they suggest 200 beds? I just struggle with that based on our size. All the other counties who have done it, they've benefited from counties like us who didn't because we're sending inmates over there that are being money. We're one of the later ones to do it, but we're probably not going to get that benefit of housing other inmates or federal if other counties already are doing that. Yeah. I mean, so if we end up with half our jail open, our fixed costs are still the same, and that's just. I, I don't think we've decided on 200 does jail yet. That's just what Adams County is. And I know DeKalb County increased the size. I mean, we, we've got some flexibility within the contract of Elamonis to 
decrease that. I mean, we, we've done some room to play around about getting into changing the cost and increasing the cost of their of their fees. So we have we haven't got to that point yet. We're, we're still, um, you know, like I said, at some point the infrastructure is still. Um, I, I talked with Michael today with El Modis, and out of that, I think it was 16 million. Yeah, 30% um, of that cost is what the, the physical the, the cell blocks uh, cost. So they have about six million dollars, and they're two, uh, roughly 200, 180 some beds, just their general population. Uh, and those are metal cells that are built off site, they're brought in and slid into place. Uh, so you know by by you know, you can't take the total cost of the sixteen million dollars divided by two hundred and thirteen beds and if you take you know, that math doesn't work because your infrastructure is still there. So, they, you know, and what they did over there, they they put in the kitchen, the laundry, everything big enough for expansion, and then they can put a pod out. All they got to do is lock the one door, and their prisoners are safe, and they can build another pod out to the end. You, you just want to make sure you got enough land so you can do that. You know, if you get into another pinch, you could lock the door, build on to it. Right now, if you're going to remodel our jail, what do you do with the prisoners? That was one something Basically, we faced there. your committee recommendation that was really just to build, don't renovate, and then go back to the drawing board for you guys to figure out yeah. what to do. Yeah. 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 build, and yeah. where we make no commitment. All yeah. that stuff. Yeah. We're, we're still further in discussion. Yeah. Because our jail study come back a year ago, like I said earlier, that you know, DLZ did that study for us. And, and there, there, there's a lot of good information in there, but um, they, they said to renovate that current facility would be around the twelve million dollar mark, and we have not addressed any space issues at all. Yeah. So you know, and then we're landlocked, you know, and, and there, there's, there's a lot of there's just a lot of things to look at. That's, that's where the jail committee mainly came from. We really got to talking about you know what makes sense and what doesn't. And it just did not make sense to any of us. So we were all in agreement, all eight or nine of us, and I'm grateful about for me, but just didn't make sense to put 12 million in, in an old facility, and you still haven't grown any. So, you know, you might as well, if you have to pay twice that uh, to build new, at least we, we're, we're working on the future, and uh, 12 million won't do anything. I don't think we're anyone city council that we talked about, none of us are saying we should renovate. We're just hoping to really look into trying to save costs. Earlier you said I, I agree. you got to stick with $24 million because that's what you have to work with. And that's what we want to work with. We hope well, we can do less. I mean, like I said, we're at the top. I mean, that's why we're here with you guys tonight. We just that's want to know happens. what kind of money can we raise. And the $24 million is what come out of that. Now, we have, we as a council have not advocated any money towards the oh, We'd love to do it. We have nothing. I mean, we want to do it for 15 million if we can, and we'll scale it to whatever we can afford to do. And I made it. I'm not sure we need 200 beds either. I, I agree. I don't. And I don't. I don't know any of us agree with that yet. But, but one thing to keep in mind that, we, that Chris and I have been told, and, and Chris, it'd be nice if he was here. But you know, on segregation, it's just not males and females. You know, so, so the mental health issue. It's it's what. You know, I come in today feeling like whatever. So, you know, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of factors driving available bed space, and, and, and by the standards the state works by, you know, 80 percent. We're only supposed to have 80 percent of our bed space full, and and so that you know, if you've got a or to remain compliant. Yeah, to, to remain compliant. So if you're 115, you know, 92 beds available, and you know, so that you they're forcing you to have a cushion. How big that is, yeah, I mean, you've got to be careful. Yeah, yeah you don't want to build it and still be not compliant. Yeah. Did that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why we're here is to try to save some cost. And we, we, you know, Steve held out on me a little bit and, and, and we beat the architect up a little bit, saved five percent, saved hundred grand just like that. And then if we're here to work together with all the towns in the city to save another point one percent off the tax rate, I mean that, that's why we're here. So we're trying to find ways to save the tax the burden on the taxpayer and so we can go back and start beating up the the plan and the cost and, and to see where we can get it. So well, yeah, again, yeah. Mason said it very appropriately there. We empathize with the great uh actually glad I'm on this side of the table <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, but with that being said the constituents have said something but 
us, and I think maybe we hear from people that you won't hear from, because people are kind of funny about that. I don't know too many people who don't really think we need to do something, especially if they've been through the jail, uh, but they want to make sure that this 20-year decision is the best decision we can possibly make and we don't leave a mess for our children and our grandchildren. Good. And we want to do that too. And that, that's where we're at. That's where, you know, unfortunately, to do that, it, it, to do it right, it costs a little bit of money. And you got to, you know, you have to plan for the future. And, and sometimes people don't do that. They make, it's, they're driven by the bottom dollar. And then we're somebody here in a situation where we've got big issues. Well, I, you know, Adams County made their decision based on what they thought were the numbers. Again, they're 14,000 more in their county than us. So their 200 bed choice was based on the population of their track record. It hasn't gone that way, though. They haven't, uh, they haven't gone over their 200. Of course, they, they've only been there during the camp. Yeah. <laughs> but they didn't expect to for 10 years. Uh, uh, don't big enough. Well, but what surprised me? Well, yeah. But what surprised me is DLZ's jail study a year ago, projecting 128 inmates in 2040, and we're at 2018 and had 115. Well, that was an interesting bar graph. If you if you look at that bar graph, in 2008 we had the same population in the jail that we had this year. That, that bar graph is well, very it's interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been a, it's been up and down for quite a while. So now, Adams County, what they've done is they've created a profit center by selling that dead space out. That's not a profit Yeah, yeah. And they're using that money. I know what they're using it for, but the construction cost per enemy is yeah. a lot more than what you get paid for. Yeah. That is not a good business deal. And I'll sit here on this constant and say, I'm not interested in building a jail and renting out beds. That, I can totally again, he loved it. It's not good business. Right? It's not good business to, it's not good business to plan to do that. That's what we, we build okay. this jail. Well, Whatever beds we decide that we need, we're going to build that based on what we think for day good for 20 years, 10 years, whatever you want to throw out there. We don't want to go back to 10 years and tell people that we got to increase that jail 25, 30, 40 percent. That makes me look bad, in my opinion. If I want to do it today, I want to do it right, and I want it to last for 20 years. I think Chris told me the other day that they had 153 on the schedule, and you take your 200 beds and you take 80 percent of that. How far off are you? Yeah. Right. You know, I think the sad thing you got to ask yourself. Why are is a is a area that's got twenty one or twenty two thousand people? Why do we have one hundred exactly people in jail? Exactly. Our female population is doubling. It's astronomical. What I what the it was. It's gone up tremendously in the last few years. Adams County's got, for example, got two padded cells. He says we need four to six. And so I wish we could put in. We got two sick beds. He said I wish we had. Double that. So, you know, as good as they did and as much as they planned, they still don't have the right facility at all the times, you know. So, and you can run into that. I, I think that would happen no matter what. Because you, you can, we, we, we can plan and we can have the best laid plans all day long. And once you get into it, you know, just for instance, I put an addition on my house after I got it on, but I think it was in there, like, dang, I wish I'd have done that. <laughs> you know? So, I think that, you know, we can. All we can do is do the best we can. Like I said, we don't have any prison ball. I think the real question you've got to ask is, is why is it I can build a building out on a farm in the last 50 years? We hire the best architects and engineers that you can find, and they can only make a building last 30 years? 35 years? Well, you know, come on. They say, well, they say that the people is rough on the building. Well, you build the building to fit the job. But, but the problem with, I mean, you've got a building full of 115 people who do not want to be here. Right. So all they are doing is saying they're trying to figure out how they're going to tear things apart, right. how they're going to 
That's all they do. Right. Ms. Berry says the biggest problem they're having in the new jail, they may close the commissary because they're throwing all the commissary stuff down the door. Yeah, yeah. 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 But the sheriff, the sheriff was saying that a, a committee or study they got in the jail, it's kind of like a dog. For every seven years, the jail's in existence. I mean, for every year, it's like seven years of a lifespan. I mean, they are just jail. for a jail. I might like to defer to Rebecca down there. We kind of suck the air out of the room, and maybe one of your colleagues, do you want to hear a little jet? Well, I got a question. When Lloyd came up originally, it was for EMS, and you guys found out that you couldn't use it just for EMS. It had to go for police, fire, and EMS. Well, you guys implemented the Lloyd Fund. Back when you took over uh, EMS from the women. That's a joke. I know. Well, my, my question is, anyway, you, you want the cities and the towns not to raise their police department or fire department because you want to take the surplus, all the increases and in, for 20 years. Is that right? That's for paying for the jail. To pay for the jail. Right, pay for the construction costs. Just the increase in that, nothing you're getting now. Okay, I, that's what I'm saying. But our, our people don't get no pay for increases for 20 years or neither is the fire department or... I don't, I don't think all we're right. asking, all we're asking is that the additional 0.3 percent that, or the 0.2, if the cities kick in in the towns, that has nothing to do with what's going on now. And when it's over with, we'll deal with it then. That shouldn't change anything for you. It, we're just asking for you to pitch in like all the real people are going to have to pitch in. The lower fund should increase by salaries. Yeah. Sure. Salary. No, I'm, I'm saying every year as salaries increase, the lower it will increase, so you will get more money per year. But they're taking the increase. They're taking a percent increase, not an actual increase. Oh, well, way it was explained to me, you guys are taking whatever we're getting now from men on you. No, we're stuck at that no, price. We're still no. getting the same percentage. Oh, well, that's a different story. That ain't this, the way this would, is a new, would be a new piece. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It won't change anything you're getting now. Okay. All we're asking is to contribute from a municipality standpoint, just like the residents in the in the rural county in the new increase. But the taxpayers are paying the increase. The taxes anyway, right? The whole Fulton County is going to pay tax. Okay. Yep. Anybody draw a paycheck? Okay. Then there's nothing on property or nothing coming on. When we, when you, when the county raises it 0.3 percent, then we're asking you to commit that 0.3 percent increase to, to the jail, jail and yeah. nothing else. I'm, I'm talking about because you're going to get it. You're going to get that point three. If we raise it, if the county raises it, Kiwana's going to get that point three. Fulton's going to get that point three. Rochester's going to get that point three. By statute. By statute. What we're asking you to do is to commit that to the jail instead of using it for whatever you want to use it for. Well, you can only use it for fire, police, or EMS. That's all you can use that for. The jail would qualify. Yeah. Well, so yeah, we're asking you to commit that to the jail. That's all we're asking. But my question is, let's forget about the Lloyd. What other taxes are you raising? You're going to have more of just that tax. We've got a special option income tax. That okay, now where's that come out? Of paycheck or is it coming no, out of property? This is all out of income tax. Everything okay. we're doing. All right. I'm with you now. Okay. okay. There's there's three taxes we're, we could implement. I just, I just worry that... If we go hit property tax again, yeah. this is all income tax. You're only hitting a certain amount of people yeah. instead of the whole county. Yeah. Listen, I wanted to wanted to share some information with you folks. We had a uh, executive session a week ago. Yeah, only ideas were thrown out to help support the effort. We could do something to help support the effort. 
came there as his ideas. And again, I would say, he's not been voted on. There's, there's some merit to this, in your opinion. We would take this outside vote. But uh, the idea is to support this element work. First of all, the city owns the neighborhood on Monticello Road, west of the waste treatment plant. And there's a map included in there showing you where it is. Uh, we consider, again, we can be approved by council vote, uh, selling of, for one dollar to the county, the building of a new jail only, yet acres needed for the jail. Uh, I have a first answer around somewhere between 12 and 15 acres. How many acres? There's a 10 to 15 acres. 22 acres out there. Now, now, uh, that certainly gives you a kickstart. You know, in Adams County, it was over, it was $1.1 million to get to their land. And then they had to pay for the, uh, the water and the sewage also, which was another happy figure. We have water and sewage out there. So we wanted to show that off. Pardon me? should have sewer close Yeah. Well, not in the water. That we get. I mean, Umball's told us to, to fund to get our to get to our 0.65 percent. We need this. That's what we need. So, you know, we just have to raise the, the income tax to half a percent higher to get or whatever percentage yeah. is to make up the difference. So, can, can I ask a question on that? Because I'm trying to wrap. I'm, I'm figures first. If let's say when you guys actually finalize your plans as far as what the jail actually, how many beds and all, and, and finally zero in on exactly what that plan looks like. Right now, you're the everything's based on this $24 million figure. But you don't really have a solidified plan. So once you get a solidified plan, let's say the figure actually comes in, you really only need 18 million based on what you guys have finally said. Yes, this is what we actually need, want, and, and we're good. Then but we've already we've already decided to raise, make that, that 0.3% increase to the low end, which may or may not have been necessary in order to fund the, the actual bond issue. So I guess I, I, I'm wondering if it would make the most sense to make sure you get your plans finalized and then you'll know exactly what you need rather than we're just kind of we're kind of like we're, we're guessing that we need this amount because this is the max we can get but we really don't have a true idea of the plan that you want. I mean, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't need the full 3%. We, can I get one more for you? Under, we, we can collect, start collecting that tax shot up and solve it away and because we won't have a bond payment for two years. So we can raise like three million dollars uh, by by doing that, and that's you're getting that money. Maybe we, that's money maybe we won't have to raise. And also, correct me if I'm wrong, council. I think if we don't use that special purpose tax this year, then we got to go back to the legislators. Right, would be a good one to use. We got to go back to get it back. We can't. We, it just don't automatically roll over. Am I correct on that? We we have. We have to implement this here by the end of October and start drawing by January of next But that's a special purpose and a correctional rate, right? Yes. Those, yes. I'm, I'm not, those two, I don't okay, think anybody okay, has okay, an issue okay. with those two. Mm -hmm. um, the special purpose and the correctional, I don't think that's, it's the lowest one that I think everybody's kind of in flux about on do we really need to go up the full three? Well, six for seven years, we will probably, have, I don't know, I mean, my guess is we're going to be pretty close to it anyway. But even with the current increase, the way everything's going, at least they're losing. If you had too much money, you could always go 18 years instead of 20 years. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah. So I think that we would cover that from the yes. No, no, I, I, I was, I'm just, can you follow what I'm yeah. thinking? Yeah. 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 If we can do it for point two instead of point three. Well, we can do it for point two if you guys contribute your funds to that. 
If you guys yeah. want your money, where are we getting all these figures from? Is that that jail that we're talking about in Madison yes. County? Yes. Sixteen million dollars. Right. One just like it did last month. Nineteen million. It was a few more beds. It was a little bit. Two hundred forty beds. So it was like this. And they took sixteen beds off of it. Not probably any million. Why? They wanted to increase the percentage of the ELC report by three and a half percent. Three and a half basis. The three meeting we had, all three of them said the same thing. Six percent. Wow. Everybody's wanting to build everybody's building. I think they're in this week. We need to create a this whole time. Like, Tim, do you have anything here? Any questions? You guys are I don't have any Rebecca, are you getting questions answered? The one last menu. Okay. Uh Kiwan, are you guys you know, they, yeah, you got something there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we're, I, I want to kind of start to wrap this thing down. Is, is there any questions from the audience? If we, does anybody have any questions out there? Yeah. Matt, Bob, when these new income tax Can you stand up? I can't hear you, please. When the new income tax revenue how will that sit us with the rest of the state as far as county tax burden? When we're, I'm, from what I can tell, it's going to put us as one of the highest tax taxing counties for any in the state. I think if you wanted to look at the highest, look over at Alaska County. Yep, you're right. So we're, so we're going to catch up. Well, and, there, and there, there's a handful of other counties that are going down in the state right now. I mean, you know, I, I know uh, uh, Jennings County was approved to do the 0.65 percent. There's uh, Stark County, I believe, is already at 0.65%. I mean, we're, with the overall tax burden, that, or the, the tax rate, I don't think we're going to be up there on a special option stuff. We're, we're, we're going to, everybody's going to catch us here pretty quick because they're, they're lined up and going up in the state. Yeah. Brian, if I may, I actually did those numbers today just because I, that's me. Um, to answer your question, this, the county, if they implement fully what they want, we would be at a total tax rate of uh, 2.68% income tax. That's total. So we would be about, based on other counties, we, we will be probably in the upper third. I don't know, we, but I don't think, we're not definitely not going to be in the highest. Yeah, but we would be in the upper third of the state. But, like you said, other counties are coming right in, right behind us. So we may very well be at the bottom of the pack. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. I, I went over that first student and I couldn't find my notes. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that, that includes seated taxes. Right. Yes, that's, that's all income tax. That's all income Okay. Is there have another question? In? Yeah. Um, I, I realize this may be this about how are we going to pay for this. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm thinking uh, from the standpoint of is there going to be consideration for the fact that these a lot of these people are nonviolent, they probably they don't actually belong in a conventional prison. Is, is there going to be consideration for housing them, treating them? Uh, it's it's this drug abuse problem I'm re, I'm referring to. That yeah, I think. I'm you're asking like the segregation of where they're at in the jail as far as a more minimum and a more, mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that's what I was getting at is, is we don't have the, the facility now to segregate the, the lower, the lesser, or the work release. So, the, so there's a lot of issues we can't address with that. Okay. Yeah. And, and uh, there's going to be then uh, addressing the rehabilitation yes. issue if when you have yeah. a facility yeah. where there's yeah. The space to do it. I mean, I think all our goal is if we can help an inmate out, and if we can help rebuild, rehabilitate them and, and help them get a leg up on society, we want to do that. We sure. just, right now, we're, we're locked. We, we don't have any yeah. any space to, to do anything. We just we, don't have the space. average rehab is six or seven times. The what? That, sorry. That's a national average, six or seven for times. For an addict, for a drug user. He, get, he goes in and out of rehab six yeah. or seven times before he gets rehabilitated. Yeah, the same thing with uh, nicotine addiction. Yeah. Yeah. One of the closing points of property, 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 it would also
also be an area that's not right the gateway of your community coming in. It would be a little more secluded than right out the front of God. With access to 31. With access to 31. But I mean, the current jails aren't ones you have in your mind. Like, I mean, it, they're, they're a decent looking facility, so it's not like you need to be ashamed of it. But it's. Well, I mean, yeah. prison or whatever, right at the door, front door of the community is not that bad. You just ask Buck, right? Right. How long did their uh, spectacle sit down there? Yeah. Um, um, and we're not. We're not uh, yeah. Is there any other questions from the public? Okay. And uh, I, I know we can't. But what, what are what is what's in the cities? I mean, are you guys on board with this? I mean, I know you can't vote tonight. I mean, I guess we kind of need to know where you go. And I would like to have a decision. Uh, I know you guys are going to be hurt. Well, you guys, if you want to do something tomorrow night, but we have nothing. We had we we need to have a uh, the council meeting is August twenty first. I don't know. Can I double check something? Mm -hmm. You're, the, the public safety additional is it point three or point two percent? To give where we need to be today, with you guys keeping your money, is point three percent. Okay. If you contribute, yeah. 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 now we're going to go to point two. We raise it the extra point. We raise 0.3. You point give it to it, we can go point two. If we get the city's money, the municipality money, we can drop it down to point two. Okay. If we don't get your money, it's point three. Okay, but you would get that, that point two percent additional raise from us. Well, we're just we just think it's it's fair to ask the municipalities to put in <coughs> because the real people are going to put in automatically because they live in the county. You follow what we're saying? Well, you don't if you don't live in no. Huh? But you get a you get a share. Well we we pay down taxes. Right. No, no, no. Right. Okay. If the city does if if you don't give us the point three, you can take your point three and do it whatever you want. You don't have to give it to us. But the people that don't live in one of these municipalities, they're gonna pay the point three. Follow what I'm saying? Because yeah. they're in the county, because they live in a rural area. We don't think it's fair to ask the rural people to pay the point three. And people living in the municipality is not to pay it. That's where we're coming from. Oh, yeah. They pay it. They're all paying. Pay. 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 It's coming out of your salary. Where it's being used. It's being used. Yeah. Now, let me get the point. Yeah. We want it to be used for the jail. They won't be supporting, you won't be supporting the jail if you don't come to that. I just want to make sure I you do that for the large. It's like you do that for the Why do you do those? What do you do that for the large? What do you suppose the percentage of people in their army both count? There's some of that. There's a lot. Well, I guess the same respect, then I would say is the offer that the city is looking at as far as property, is that something that you guys would definitely want to entertain looking at? Would you entertain it? Yeah. There's nothing else. Hey, I'm sorry. We, we just need a commitment so we know where we're headed, so we know what we're going to do. And we, we, we would like to have a fire jump. jump. I want to address the, the question about extra money. There's a question about what we're going to do with the old jail. So I think that that needs to be rehab to the minimal amount for the work relief programs and still bit of rehabilitation. And I don't see why those can't be good as soon as you touch that building, you've got the whole burn of the code. That's what DLC said. Well, that's what they do all the time. They can't afford high security units. Well, I mean, you know, it's like the old jail. You know, you can't get that kind of money. Is it a problem? Is it a problem if we can have a decision from you guys either way by our August 21st council meeting? Uh, we need something uh, hard. Yeah, we, we, we need no way to get it. Tim, Tim, shake his head, yes. Well, we need to get something in writing to you. Yeah. The city's the one, you guys are going to be behind me August 21st. And we can get you something in writing. You're meeting tomorrow night, correct? Yes. I was going to get you that as far as some of it. Yeah, well, let's say, Marty, we can have another special council meeting. 
paper. This would be just okay. the only thing we would discuss. Okay. To try to get that to you guys back. Because if we have all these taken care of by the end of October, then, then we can start collecting on January 1. So we're going to get to this. Well, again, in ranking, I'm from the table over here. We really, really, really emphasize this. This is a top nine. I mean, there's nothing. If there's anybody in this room or anywhere who wants to spend, you know, a million dollars on the gym. I mean, I wish we didn't have that problem. I'd rather spend a building. Right? I had a meeting with several girls in the city on the phone, and she said, "Please don't count on folks that I don't believe any criminal should be housed in conditions better than what three fourths of the city is." I walked in. Wow. There's a pretty good solution. But they don't. The state's not telling them. And the other citizens out of there. The states tell us how we have to treat those prisoners. That's the problem. I was amazed when I read that jail report. That's all. Right. That's ridiculous. You've got to keep their cell a certain temperature. Does, does anybody have any other questions as far as the tax rate? <laughs> yeah, that we're at? Well, the question is if, if we all jump on board, it's only going to go to point two, right? Yes. Okay. 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 That's the real side of It's so hard to hear back That's here, right. the things you're saying. Are you talking about doing away with the with the sheriff's department downtown and including it in this new jail? Possible. No decisions made. I mean, no, nothing has been made yet. We have to look at what the, what the cost will be of the, of the of the new structure. I have to side with somebody else. You know, we build our homes, and we expect them to last for 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. Has, has there been no maintenance oh, yeah. fund to yeah. take care of all of these things in the long run? We put the money in this jail year. I mean, we're always fixing things. It's 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 just how much? Oh, the sheriff's the, the, sheriff, the jail or the sheriff's office? No, I'm, I'm talking about the jail. Now, the jail I, under, yeah. I understand yeah. the mentality of the people in there. Yeah. But it just seems to me if you're if you're staying yeah. current with that upkeep. Well, I did. It, it's hard, you know. I mean, I'm, we're, we're doing the best we can with the money and a lot of to us, yeah. So, right? Encourage them. Encourage them. Let me come to the council. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if anybody has more questions, I mean, our meetings are open. Social problems. Okay. Any, any other tax, the tax related question right here? I need to wrap this up for people to leave. Anybody else? Okay, I want to thank everybody for coming. This was a nice turnout. We didn't have that before. A couple of meetings. I appreciate you guys coming out. So thank you guys for all coming together. I know it's hard to get everybody here, but I really appreciate it.